All right, everybody, it's that time. Boot camp right around the corner. And I know you're ready. It's time to reset, recommit yourself, take charge of your attitude, your mind, your body, your spirit. Do not let the state of the world get inside and make you get lazy and make you lose hope and make you just find yourself just sleep moving, sleep walking, sleep talking and not really focus on stepping your game up. It is time for a reset. That's right. It is time for a reset. As the book says, step up and fight back. This time of the year, me and my family always sit down and readjust our goals. We look at our 10 year plans and see what is it that we have achieved? OK, because once you plant these seeds in your mind and your body and your spirit and you plan your work and you work your plan and you begin to lead the results up to God. When you come back during this time, you'll look like, damn, I done did that one. I done accomplished that one. Whoa, I didn't even realize that because subliminally it's already ingrained in you when you begin to write it out and plan it out. Your vision boards, you could sit there and you could say, oh, man, I already met that person. I already did this. I already did that. And then you change that vision board. by. For me, I put a new vision over top of an old vision. So when you look behind whatever new picture that I got, you can see like layers of old pictures because that's what I do. I do things that just keep on keeping me pushing forward and moving forward, man. Without planning my work and without working my plan, I'm in trouble. I know what it was like when I didn't take time to do that. And you got to do that. Even my daily schedule that I follow when I wake up in the morning, I got to readjust that. The one thing that I find it hard to not be able to do is to educate myself every day. Man, it's a priority to, to educate yourself. It's a priority to read. It's a priority to write. It's a priority to, to pray. You cannot be too busy to reset and get your life together and make, an, a, make a commitment to you and be held accountable to you. That's what boot camp's all about for years. That's what we did. We going back to the basics. You know what's so funny? Many people go and they do business and they learn, they answer the telephone, but they never went through training to learn how to answer the telephone. They never knew how to stand up and, and have the right body language. Many people don't realize, well, how do I, how do I teach on Zoom? How do I, how do I develop a curriculum? How do I understand statistics? What are statistics? You understand what I'm saying? How do I dress? How do I, how do I execute the right kick so my kicks can become better? How do I understand how I can set goals right now or I can plan out my own little business, my own little business plan, even if it means that I'm going in the neighborhood right now and I'm and I'm going to do something to like look over my neighbor's uh, 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 front yard while they gone or whatever so I can make sure and I can let them know who was walking on their lawn or whatever. Man, it just goes on. I mean, I know back then we talked about lawn, mowing the lawn and, you know, doing what is it? You know, uh, 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 orange juice stands or whatever it may be. You know what I'm talking about. But now it's time to get creative. It's time for us to come together. Share your strength. Share your struggle. Share your doubt. But push through. If you don't push through and fight through all the... I know how hard it is. Let's Come on, ain't nobody else going to help you get to that next level but you. I get up every morning. I see my wife get up every morning. I see my kids get up every morning. I get up every morning because I get up for me. I got to be held accountable because if I don't get up at the time that I get up like around three o'clock and sometimes two o'clock, guess what ends up happening? At the end of the day, I'm going to regret it. I got to get up. I got to push. I got to reset. I'm not saying that I don't, we don't have things that we going through like everybody else. But I refuse to let those things manifest in my heart and my soul. And I refuse to allow. See, here's the difference. Until you learn how to take care of yourself and be accountable for what you got to do. You, some of you are already doing it when you got to get on that on, 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 on the computer and go through the virtual classes and show up for class. You're already doing it. But now it's time to stop. Step it up. It's time to take it up a notch. You can't just be kicking. You can't just be going through burpees. Like I said in class, look, do it perfect. Strive to do it perfect. And when you get tired, do it even better than when you were not tired. Fight through that. And if you can't do them all to, to, to the best of your ability, I mean a good kick, 
that you know is going to be one that's going to stop the opponent. That's the kicks you're doing. You're not just throwing kicks. You're not just throwing punches. When you throw a jab, throw the jab. Throw the cross. Put your hands up. Work the technique. Throw it. Be it. Live it. Breathe it. Because guess what? When you do that, you don't have to have no, what is it? Private this or private that. Those things are just to enhance you. They're there to help you enhance your attributes, not the technique. We got to reset. We got to plan. We got to go into this new world order and be the best that we can possibly be. That's the purpose of boot camp. We talking old school boot camp. We ain't stealing nothing. We ain't making up nothing. We going back to the basics. Anybody that came through the vans know that we used to have four boot camps every year. I mean, come on, man. When I went to Master Ernie Reyes boot camp, it was like it took our boot camp to a whole new level. I don't care if it's virtual. I don't care what it is. As Master Ernie said to us, when when the one boot camp I had the privilege to be and to go and to go through the sweat lodge and everything, he said, "Look, it's up to you. If you ain't gonna be committed to pushing yourself, then you can leave." That's what I'm saying to you. If you're not committed to pushing yourself, don't give me no excuses. Don't make no excuses. That's what everybody giving. Don't give yourself. Don't make your. Don't make no excuses for yourself. Step your game up. Listen to this. Blood, sweat, blood, sweat, blood, sweat, blood, sweat, and respect. Blood, sweat, respect. Blood, sweat, respect. Blood, sweat, respect. Blood, sweat, blood, sweat, respect. And guess what? Blood, sweat, respect. Can't nobody take that away from you. You feel me? And I ain't gonna re-edit this because this is coming from the heart. I want to be around greatness. When I come around you, I want you to uplift me and I want to uplift you like the school always been. Can't nobody come in and be sad because it's like when when some I remember a couple of times we say, how we feel? Super good. Getting better, sir. And then somebody asked me, one of the students, I think it was Mr. Woods, how you feeling, professor? Oh, I'm good. Oh, you ain't super good? Reminded me, no, I'm super good getting better. I might not be there, but I'm going to keep on saying it because eventually I'm going to get there. That's what you got to do. You feel me, guys? Come on. Look at this. Persistence destroys failure. Persistence destroys failure. Persistence destroys failure. Are you feeling me? The first two you give, the last one you earn. The first two you give, the last one you earn. The first two you give, the last one you earn. I'm going to give you another quote because I'm not playing here. Enjoy the hell. I know it feels like hell every day you wake up and you don't know what to do and it's so uncertain. Enjoy the hell you are going through and heaven will approve. Enjoy the hell you are going through and heaven will approve. Can't nobody get at you. That's the whole purpose of pushing yourself. Those who find time to quit have no time to succeed. Those who find time to quit has no time to succeed. Stop quitting in class. Stop quitting with, with playing with the, 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 the camera. It's set up. It's there. Let it be. Just be all you can be. Be focused. Learn to zone in. See this? Zone in. Zone in. Stop being distracted by all the other things. Stop being distracted by all the other things. Zone in. Be the best you can possibly be. Come into boot camp to reset. Recommit yourself to becoming the best you can be. And doing whatever you need to do from the inside out by planning your work, working your plan. Guess what? Because 2021 is going to be the best year yet. And it's going to be better and greater because it's going to be the beginning of a whole new you. And that's coming from the inside out. And that's how me and Miss Kimber are bringing it to you. That's how we bring it to one another. Because guess what? It's going to take all of us to lift each other up. We will never let no one fall. We will get them to push and we will pull them up like old boot camps used to be. Come on, guys. Boot camp, boot camp, boot camp, boot camp. Reset, reset. Commitment, commitment. No excuses. If you're going to come late, don't show up. You understand what I'm saying? Be on time. This is your commitment to reset your life to be the best you want to be 2021 and beyond and get ready for the new black belt cycle based upon old school principles and push and pull and get it in and settle for nothing else but their very best. You were created to be great and everybody can be great. 
the ones that become great are the ones that hold themselves accountable for doing anything less than giving it your best. See your boot camp.